E aí, galera, tudo bem? Estamos aqui no DCS World F16 Viper. Essa sequência de vídeos que eu estou postando são dos arquivos lá do canal do Matt Agner, aquele CEO que posta os vídeos acadêmicos do F16 Viper. Até o outono de, desse ano de 2019, ele vai lançar vídeos explicando algumas coisas sobre o F16. Como os vídeos deles são públicos, eu vou reeditar eles e colocar aqui no nosso canal com legendas do YouTube. É, vou colocar a legenda do YouTube lá, vou copiar o vídeo e vou postar aqui no canal. Como os vídeos dele, eu já falei, são públicos, não vai ter problema. E como o meu canal não tem monitoração, ou seja, eu não ganho dinheiro para postar vídeo no YouTube, eu acredito que não vai ter problema. <cười> Mesmo assim, lá no na descrição do vídeo eu vou colocar todos os links dos arquivos original do Matt Egner. F16 Viper, acompanha aí. Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS S16C Viper video, we'll be taking a look at the gun for strafing and air to ground rockets. Now both are very simple point and shoot weapons, but a whole lot of fun. Let's get started. Okay, so let's learn how to strafe targets and use rockets in the Viper. So for today we have two LAO-3 rocket pods loaded. Each pod has 19 2.75 inch rockets. And these rockets come with different flavors of heat, high explosive, and smoke. But before we do that, let's learn how to strafe a target. So on the ICP, we'll select air to ground master mode. Go master arm, arm. And here on the uh, left MFD, let's select the HSD. Now zoom in a bit. And we can see the filled in circle ahead of us. That indicates we're steering to steer point one. Let's increment up to steer point two. And then on the right MFD, right now we have AG CCIP mode for the rockets. Well, let's switch this to uh, gun strafe. So we'll select uh, AG. Now we're in gun strafe. We can view our inventory. So our center line station is empty. Uh, inboards have the fuel tanks. Outside of those are the rocket pods. The pylons outside of that are empty. And then on the wing tips, we have M120 AMRAMs. So back out of inventory, see the gun is ready. And of course we have the um, M61A1 20 millimeter cannon, which fires 6,000 rounds per minute. And we have 511 rounds loaded. Now on the gun reticle, which we'll see here in a second, we have a slant range indication of 12,000 feet in range, which is the uh, dot at the 12 o'clock position. But if we want to change that, we just go ahead and select the OSB and we type in the range you want. Let's go 8,000 feet and enter and now we see that the indication is at the eight o'clock position for eight thousand feet and at this point we're go ahead we're ready to uh, roll in on this target so let's go ahead and unpause and let's go shoot up some poor trucks yeah i'll be shooting for about a 20 degree dive angle at 450 knots and it's really easy to gain a lot of speed uh coming downhill like this So we'll place the uh, dot in the center of the reticle over the target and around 8,000 feet uh, hold down the trigger. Altitude, altitude. I got him. Okay, so that's the gun. Let's look at rockets. So from gun, we'll go back to AG mode. We are CCIP, continuous acute impact point. And we see that we have 38 uh, M151 high explosive rockets. Right now they're in single mode. So each press of the weapon release button will fire one rocket. But we can switch that to pairs. Now on the pod, you could also select a uh, ripple quantity of, you know, how many rockets do you want to come off uh, each pod with each press of the weapon release button. But it's not actually done in the cockpit itself. Uh, you can notice on the HUD now, we have a CCIP indicator. And as you can probably figure out, we're here on the uh, Nevada map, just north of Creech. Now 
you know, a small reticle on the HUD with the dot in the center. That's our CCIP reticle for the rockets. And we're, in, we're within 8,000 foot slant range. We'll get a little line above it to indicate that um, we're at that range from the target. So I'm going to put the dot over the target and then hold down the weapon release button. Yeah, I got him. So that's a little look at strafing targets and using unguided rockets in a Viper. I very much hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.